not nearly as selfish as you pretend. Hey, you take that back. You had your relic. You were gone. There was no reason for you to come back and face the Canari. I still don't have a ship. I thought I could get one. From a bunch of shipwrecked Canari? From the Viscount. I just got here late. I always knew you had a heart of gold. Shh, don't tell anyone. The first enchanter overstepped his bounds. He was provoked. Do you never intend to give a public answer, Your Grace? What have I been asked? About the mages. You could calm this fire if you stepped forward. The Chantry's teachings are clear. Those who turn against them would not listen more to me than to Andraste. Orsino and the Knight Commander will tear Kirkwall apart. They will try. I did not expect things to deteriorate so fast. I thought after the Canari, no one would wish for more violence. It has drawn more attention than I would like. Sebastian, if I can ask... Anything, Your Grace. And the Champion, too, if you will. I can't imagine any way this will go wrong. What would you have of us? The Divine is concerned about the situation here. She does not want to see the Free Marches become another Imperium. She has sent an agent to assess the danger. Meet with her, please. Tell her drastic measures won't be required. I don't want to see the Divine's armies march against Kirkwall. Could we keep the Exalted marching to a minimum? I keep all my stuff in Kirkwall. Surely the Divine wouldn't treat the whole city as enemies. She is concerned. It is never wise to draw the concern of the powerful. She is the voice of Andraste. She cannot turn the might of the Chantry against the innocent due to... Proximity. Were no innocents harmed in the Exalted Marches? She will do her best, Sebastian. But she must act first to protect the Faith. What can you tell me about this Servant of the Divine? I was not told her real name. Only to call her Sister Nightingale. She is said to be the Divine's left hand. Sent to do work that might blacken the Divine's name. This cannot wait. Thank you. We cannot allow this ridiculous mage rebellion to turn into holy war. The agent, Sister Nightingale, will be waiting in the Viscount's throne room tonight. She wishes to remain unseen. The room has been sealed since the Canari incident. It may be difficult to get in without attracting attention. Even the Divine fears us now. She should. Kill the Spine! Resolutionists. I might have known Leliana. Isabella? <laughs> Sister Nightingale, indeed. I remember it didn't take much to make you sing. <laughs> Perhaps we should get back to the reason I'm here. Are you Sister Nightingale? I am. Or you may call me Leliana. The Divine sent me to investigate the possibility of a rebellion here, in Kirkwall. I have some experience in unconventional situations. THE Leliana? Who accompanied the hero of Ferelden to slay the Archdemon? Ah... I see it will be harder to remain anonymous so near the Ferelden border. Yes. I knew the hero of Ferelden. She is an excellent queen for King Alistair. But that... 
was many years ago. I am working for the Divine now, in Orlais. I had not thought to return to this part of Thedas. Who are the Resolutionists? An offshoot of a fraternity within the Circle of Magi. There have always been factions that support freedom from the Chantry and the abolition of the Circle. We have tolerated them, but the Resolutionists have become violent. They are likely behind the unrest here. I hardly imagined the Divine's secret agent looking like you. That is why I am effective. The Divine has long suspected that Kirkwall's problems were spurred by an outside group. Like any mage with a brain can't come up with, let's rebel. This attack proves she is right. Are you saying you set this whole thing up? I let word slip that an agent of the Divine was coming to investigate the mage troubles. It is how they chose to react which condemns them. Will the Divine send soldiers? Divine Justinia takes the situation here very seriously. She believes it is the worst threat to Thedas since the Cunari invaded. A handful of apostates? How can that possibly... <laughs> the whole world is watching Kirkwall. If it falls to magic, none of us are safe. None of you? Tell Elthina to leave. There is refuge for her at the Grand Cathedral in Orlais. She will not be safe here. You've been watching me all day. It's getting a little distracting. Greetings, Meryl's champion. right. Your armor is shiny. I can see myself in it. Look. Shit. Oh, shit. Is that a wrinkle? Is that a wrinkle between my brows? Um, I, I don't see it. Hold still. Sister Nightingale says you must leave Kirkwall. What? You were right. The Divine will be taking action against Kirkwall, though the Sister didn't say what. You must take the holy relics from the Chantry and leave for safety. Sebastian, I am surprised at you. Andraste would not thank me for saving a few dusty finger bones and my own skin at the cost of people's lives. You do no one any good if you're dead. When I became Grand Cleric, I took a vow to the people of Kirkwall and the Free Marches. I will not leave my flock. Would you let yourself die? There is no greater devotion than to lay one's life at the Maker's feet. There is no better death than to take the blow for another. You don't hear that one quoted often, do you? Please, Your Grace. Sister Nightingale thinks there will be war. Then, I must make peace. Settle yourself, Sebastian. I'm in no personal danger. I am Grand Cleric. Who would dare attack me? I'm going to be trying something, and I thought you'd want to be part of it. We've both been wrong. What I did with justice was unnatural. It should never have happened. Is there some way to undo it? I've spent the past three years researching the methods of Devinter Magisters. They're the only ones who have ever sought to reverse spirit possession, not just behead the victims. I believe I have a formula for a potion that can separate justice and me, without killing either. Surely that's worth any risk it entails. I knew you'd stand behind me in this. Even if... What? Nothing. I've gathered most of what I need, but there are some... outlandish ingredients I was hoping you'd help me collect. A powder the Tevinters call Celepetre, and a small amount of Drakestone. What is Drakestone? The Tevinters used to mine it for their apothecaries. There should still be deposits in the bone pit. Where would we find Celepetre? It's a crystal that forms from concentrated manure and urine. Ew. We can't just buy it somewhere. It's not used by mages here. There's no reason for any merchant to stock it. I suggest we search the sewers. There's an entrance not far from here in Darktown. Is it just a potion? Is there anything more to this ritual? No, no ritual. Just mix the ingredients up and...
boom, Justice and I are free, and we can take our rightful place among free mages. We're not looking for virgin's blood or the tongue of a hanged man or anything, are we? Well, you know to Vinters. They can't throw a Winter's End party without a human sacrifice or two. But I promise, everything in my research says there's no blood magic involved. There is justice in the world. Is there? You want to free the mages. Let's say you do. But to get there, you kill a bunch of innocent people. What about them? Don't they then deserve justice? Yes. And then what? Where does it end? It's like a bar brawl. People are continuously pulled into the fray and nobody remembers why it started. Justice is an idea. It makes sense in a world of ideas, but not in our world. We can enter the sewers from here to look for the cellar portray. Are you ready? Let's go. Hold your nose. We'll have to get pretty close for me to tell what we're looking at. <laughs> should have formed right under here. Oh, I don't want to touch that. We still need the Drake Stone from the Bone Pit. This place gives me the creeps. It's probably the name. They should call it the Pie Fields. Everyone likes pie. Breakstone deposit? I need a scraping from the deepest part. Thank you. I wouldn't have asked just anyone to venture in there for me. There is one more thing, but we must discuss it privately. There is one more thing I need of you, my love, and I can't tell you why. I must get inside the Chantry without being seen. Will you talk to the Grand Cleric for me? Distract her long enough for me to do what must be done. Tell me your plan. You would not thank me if I told you. If you support freedom for mages, help me. That's all I can say. What do you want me to talk about? Food? The weather? What does it matter? No, talk of mages. Give her one final chance to hear what we have suffered. To pick a side. Perhaps she'll be more inclined to listen to you. I won't desert you now. I do not deserve your love. I promise, whatever happens, it's on my head. It will not come back on you. Go to the Chantry. Talk to the Grand Cleric. I will join you when I'm done. After all this, the life of a pirate's going to be a bit dull, isn't it? I know. I'll have to steal myself another Canari relic. The scary thing is, I don't know if you're joking. <laughs> of course I'm joking. I'm not getting involved with those people again. No. This time, I'll steal the Queen of Antiva. There's no way that could go wrong. Maker's Blessing, Champion. Have you come to pray? So, hypothetically, if there were a group of people being brutally subjugated by another, wouldn't the Maker favor the oppressed? You speak of mages. It's no secret that you count apostates among your friends, Champion. You have done much to fan the flames of rebellion here. 
We must give Meredith and Orsino time to work out their differences. No good can come of showing favor to one side. I guess that means you're not ready to disband the Templars and set every mage free. I feel for the mages, I do. I would not wish to be locked in the gallows. But I cannot take sides. We are all the Maker's creatures, but magic allows abuses beyond the scope of mortals. I only hope I can balance the needs of everyone. For if it comes to war, it is the people of this city who will lose. There you are. I've been looking for you all over. Your Grace? Your soul is troubled, child. I hope you found a balm for it here. <laughs>